Hey, what's good? I'm doing a reading energy pull, sending out good energy um, on what's going on inside transformation. Um, for all, especially women of color. Now, the cards that I have is the goddess Kali. We all know who the goddess Kali is. Liberation. Water, Mama Kochi, Kocha, and then we have Yai the Sun again, and Mayat, Truth, Egyptian. Now, starting with Kali, she is the goddess, the Hindu goddess of liberation and resolution, and it's so funny because. Um, if you Google the goddess Kylie, they always got her like chopping men's head off, you know, blood or dripping out of the um, heads, you know, making her look like she's an evil goddess, but she's not an evil goddess. And the depiction that they have, I don't think everybody's looking at it deep enough. Because when they have her chopping like the heads of men, it's not more so saying she's going to literally chop off the men's, of pe you know, the heads of people. But it's more so in order to bring in liberation and resolution. Sometimes you got to cut through, you know, a certain type of system in order to bring in liberation and resolution. And this can be meaning every anything we got going on. Right about now, this can be like corporations, you know, businesses, our government, you know. Sometimes we may have to like chop through it and dismantle it in order to bring in liberation and resolution. And then this is also addressing the shadow nature of yourself. You know, your shadow self. You know, going deep within um, your shadow self. And looking at it. And being able to understand. Um that shadow self and what you got going on and judging it um, so that way you can um, take those steps into life, you know, authentic, you know, to bring out the true you, you know, bring out or claim that power within yourself that you have deep inside yourself you know also too with the Kali um the goddess Kali you know this is like being strong you know fears you know um fearless and loving and having courage being willing to learn um, all different types of miraculous things in your life without um, hesitation, you know, just, you know, going for it, you know, diving deep into that part of yourself. Now with the Mama Kocha, Let's see what she is all about. Mama culture. I think that's like, I'm looking at it and that looks like Mayan because I know my Native American roots. That headdress at the top, that's Mayan. But let's see, I could be wrong, but it looks like Mayan to me. Yep, she's an Inca goddess, 
that's part of the Native American um, Maya tradition. And this is water. And of course, as an Inca goddess, you know, they so in tune with spirit and so in tune with the earth. Why not water? You know, the flow of life, the flow of energy. And I have on here water, ebb and flow. You know, the push and pull of energy. You know, the powerful rhythm, motion of the seas, of the ocean. And with that, it, re it reveals so many mysteries. It reveals so many, you know, power and energy with it, with that ebb and flow, that push and pull. You know, water is smooth, but at the same time, water is rough. You know, whichever way the energy flows. You know, water is also one of those elements where it can penetrate itself through the tiniest crack. And water is the representation of our emotion, you know. Your emotions inside of you flow deep, you know. They run wild and rough. They can be still at moments. You know, they can, um, they change their course you know they go through all different types of apps um obstacles that is what type of emotions that run through you that's the type of energy that runs through you it just goes you know whichever way it wants to go goes it sometimes is up sometimes it's down sometimes it's off sometimes it's on but it flows in so many different directions. Now the next card I have is Mayat. Mayat. Truth. That's Egyptian. We all know Mayat. You know, the laws, what is it, the 33 laws of Maya. And it's so funny, this card is like 33. This Mama Kocha. Now, Mayat. This is the truth card. Maya is the, the Egyptian goddess the goddess of truth she has power in telling the truth and allowing it to lead you to a higher ground it's only when you ref refuse to see the reality of a situation that we lose our power to co-create for the highest good <laughs> Also, too, like with this card, that with the power of this Maya, this goddess Maya, is reminding you to be willing to do or be fearless in self inventory and live authentically, you know, be original, be true to yourself, you know, you know, be who you are, be rigorous, you know, have honesty, loyalty, and with those things, it will lead you to great success. Um, you know, being completely transparent, with others
you know, with that, you have like freedom. You have happiness because you know the truth. You know who you are. You know where you came from. You know, and not only do you have freedom, you have happiness. But you know and understand the, you know, balance and divine order. The order of the divine. And then also with the goddess Maya, she understands um, the law of karma very well. Now with the next card, you have Yai, the sun goddess, which I had got and the, um, what was that? The black, um, mother goddess reading you know that's letting your light shine you know be who you are you know be that shining bright star you know rise above it all you know and when you shine your light onto the world you know you attract all different types of various people and experience, the challenges. You know, she's the Aboriginal Australian sun goddess. And then also like, you're harnessing the energy of the sun. You are talking to the sun. The sun is talking to you. It's sending you all types of information, all types of knowledge, you know, all types of awareness is teaching you, is guiding you through life, is empowering you. Um, and that's a you know, feel good energy. You always feel joyful, you always feel you know, relieved of some things. You know, it's healing, it is warm, it surrounds you with this warmth feeling you know just surrounds you with love and when you have that type of energy flowing around you you are going to shine your brightest now the next card up at the top is Kuan Yin compassion 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 We all know what compassion is. That's when you feel in deep. You know what desire. Now it's so funny because I have a family member on my mother's side, which is Guyanese. And she she would watch my son play. And when he would get angry, he'd start like flipping out, kicking stuff. She would be like, oh my goodness, he has so much passion. And, and like Guyanese language, when they speak about passion, they talk about anger. But not necessarily in a bad way. Because when you have anger, you have like this desire. Um, You have like this... Um passion basically and then this um passage with the compassion is talking about um you need to release like this perfectionism and defensiveness um the compassion is there to reduce suffering, not only inside of you, but within the world. So that you can have compassion and kindness.
And then also you got to also learn to control your thoughts, to have this compassion, like energy, like absorb inside of you. And when you start to build up this compassion by reducing suffering inside of you or suffering around you and not be so much um, judgmental of yourself and your surroundings, you kind of like... Um, You kind of like can um, be able to, to like, how can I say, like, be able to um, solve your problems, find solution for your problems, positive solution for your problems. Um, you'll start to embark on new paths unfolding in front of your eyes. Um, you know, this has a lot to do with, um, with your priorities and the things you do, do it with kindness. Um, try not to have like so, so much of a, um, scattered mind when you're um, handling your priorities. Try to do it with compassion so that way the priorities for your day-to-day -day activities can like run smooth. And that may, that may not always happen, but you know, take it how it goes at the end. And so we're going to pull cards and I think these are the, I'm only going to use this deck. This is the secret language of light oracle to go with the goddess. Tara oracle card, the power of goddess oracle card. So with the goddess Kali, we have joy. And look at that star. That is you inside of that star. Now with this card, I'm going to put the Goddess Kali on top of it because that's a long card. When you tend to break down that um, barrier... of liberation that's when that's when you bring joy into the system because you're like how can you say When you bring in liberation and resolution, you know, you fighting for what's right. And when you fight for what's right, it makes you feel better. You actually have joy in your life. You bring joy to the system. You know, things start aligning and unifying in this natural order when you do that. And in this case, is you know, discovering what you love. That's 
um, liberation and that's liberation and resolution it is discovering what you love and what you want and makes what makes you feel good what makes you feel comfortable what gives you peace of mind or peace in your surrounding or peace in your home and you honor that And when you honor that, you create this inner joy within yourself. And now the next card is the Mama Kucha. You have remembrance. That is interesting because we all know. All right, let me read the, and then I'll match it with the Water Goddess. Remembrance. Now with the remembrance, are they saying this is a 11 card? This is reflection. You are ready to live your life from the wisdom of your heart. You're ready to go within. It is um, when you're ready to do all of that, ready to go within and live your life with the wisdom of your heart. That is an awakening code inside of you, which is a memory inside of you that you have wakened. And... This is a loving, intelligent energy inside of you, inside of your heart. And with the remembrance card, this is, um, they saying with this wisdom, fresh and innovative idea will flow into your mind as a new ways to live your life this remembrance card and water has memory water is memory water holds memory you know your body is made of 70 percent water all the um elements inside of your body is water not just water but it is crystallized water if you was to look at your blood cells at a microscopic level it looks like crystallized light if you was to look at it so there you go the remembrance your body deep down inside of your body there is a memory there is an akashic record you know because your body has this memory from past lives and you know it has the memory of you know your ancestors you know because it is crystallized water it is crystallized light so the next card that we are pulling up, that's a pretty card too. And if you look at it, it has that um, three dimensional triangle. That is the triangle that your body actually is. How can I say? It's like the, how you pronounce it? The vitrivial man with his body is that geometric form and that's what this is too a three-dimensional geometric star this is your body all right the next card that i'm pulling from maya is color truth truth and color and it's so funny 
because if you look behind i don't know if you can see it clear but if you look around the light it has like that aztec coin that i was talking about that um i forgot what it's called but it's that design on that mayan coin so the, the name of that card is color color and truth truth and color interesting Truth and color, color and truth, vibrational impulse and light waves. That is the truth. That is the truth. Vibrational impulse and light waves. Your perception of life is becoming more colorful. You are opening to different colors and experience. Colors break up old black and white thinking and opens your heart to the beauty of life and love. The colors of the rainbows are variations of white light reflecting the diverse experience of life. And they are all valid. Each color of the spectrum has its own energetic vibration that stimulates certain responses and healing. Different colors mirror your current physical, emotion, and spiritual state. Your soul uses this mirror to communicate your need to heal or embrace balance. Get to know what colors you are attracted to and the ones that repel you you are love and you are loved no matter how colorful your or another life is so that's the truth you know you are this light entity this light being you are made of vibrational impulses and light waves you are made from the cosmos and the cosmos is made of nothing but light and that's where that prism comes from i have spoke about that it is the seven i don't know if it's seven but we'll say seven the seven spectrums of life that's what you were before you turned into the physical and that is the truth and the next and the last no the next card i got two more cards yai the sun and kuan yin the next card is the sun which is insight when you start to shine your bright this is easy one it's gonna be long you have insight you have inner knowledge you have this knowing and when you get past like intuition, you come into this new energy, which is the knowing energy. You don't no longer need like intentions because you just know it is what it is. You just know that is what insight is. That is what the sun is. The sun is radiating so much knowledge, so much power that is insight you radiating you shining your light you burning with this knowledge and wisdom of desire and that is what insight is that is what the sun is that is what the sun is giving you that is what the sun is bringing to the planet is insight of this internal force this internal being that's waking up inside of you. Now the last card is for the Kuan Yin. The compassion is the soul family. The 
that's what I always say what um, you are loved and supported your soul family is not just your family but it is other souls that connect on the same level that you're connecting with you know the universe brings you other souls, other light beings. So that way, when you go through this journey, you can have like-minded other soul friends and soul entities that you can send, you know, collaborate, give all types of energy, um, all types of information, knowledge. You can get knowledge from them. You can give them knowledge, you know, vice versa. You know, this is a connection. This is a, a unity, a progress, you know, this soul family, you know, it's a gathering, you know. These, um, Soul families, whoever they are, they can be your best friend, a new friend, somebody you just met, met, but you know, there's a, you know, other souls that you sit down with, collaborate, chit chat it up, you know, co-create with, because when you are with other people and y'all sitting around and y'all planning things out, y'all basically co-creating no matter what it is, you know, it can be a business, a party, a function, um, Whatever it is, you're always co-creating. And not only are you co-creating, but you're, you know, absorbing each other's energy. You're sharing energy. So you want to make sure your soul family that you're collaborating with, the energy is positive always. You don't want nobody around you with negative energy because it's just going to bring you down. Yeah, your soul family can be your soulmate. And with soulmate, just soulmate don't have to be like the opposite. Like, you know, a female and a male. It can be a female and a female. Y'all can be best friends. And your soulmate can be your sister. Your soulmate could be your brother. Your soulmate can be your best friend. You know, your uncle. You know, your lover, your soulmate. It could be a cat, your dog. It could be anything, you know. That's what um, another part of your soul family is. You know, just um, being around other souls that are just enjoying life and enjoying, you know, this spiritual experience, this spiritual journey, you know, and co-creating with each other and you know building that foundation you know harnessing that light energy you know going through that you know transformation you know evolving into a new you yeah that's a beautiful card i love these secret light um secret language of light cards they're so pretty they got like a Hindu master and it's like a dragon. Dragon is energy. Yeah, and it's so funny because normally dragons are depicted as that eternal soul. You know, that fiery energy. So, yep. I hope you enjoy that reading. Thank you.